All right, guys, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of things set out here, taking up the entire living room. Well, not the entire living room, but a good portion of it, because I have been busy buying awesome Halloween props. I was going to wait until like the end of the season and just show you guys everything I bought, which I still might do, but I thought I would take this opportunity because I'm so excited and show you everything that I have got so far for the 2022 Halloween season. past couple of years, I kept saying I live in my RV. There it is back there. Giant 34-foot Class A Winnebago. But living in the RV has limited space, so I was not able to buy Halloween props. I also bought this awesome Hummer, as you can see in the background, which is pretty much just like the Hummer you see in the movie Zombieland. I call that guy the Humbee, and this one Goliath, because he's so huge. And if you look on the back here, you can see my other channel, Romancing the State where we have documented all our travels to 45 states and counting. But this year, this year is different. Because not only do we have the RV and the Hummer, we now bought a whole house. There it is, the love nest. Over the summer, we've been remodeling the love nest, but now we are back to traveling to film more than 100 Spirit Halloweens this season. And along the way, I have been buying props because now I have a house where I can keep them. Oh yeah, baby. Let's go on inside and take a look at what I have so far. Okay guys, here it is. Now, I gotta tell you, there is one enormous thing that I bought this season that you do not see right here. And I will show you that at the end of this video. So stick around for the whole thing. But right now we are gonna start with this guy right here this five foot posable skeleton. Now, let me tell you what, I got him free. Can you believe it? Free. I actually went to pick up a table for this house. And when I got there, the guy had this in his garage and I was like, hey, I like your skeleton. He said, you want it? And I was like, yeah. So, <laughs> so I got this five foot posable skeleton, which would cost you 60 bucks in any store. I got him absolutely free. How awesome is that? Welcome to the family. Now, we're going to talk about each and every one of these things back here, guys. Some of them you are going to see me open and set up in their own individual videos. You've already seen me set up the Lil Skelly Bones. He was the first animatronic that I bought this year. Now, as you can see front and center, I also just bought Young Crouchy. I am so excited to have him. I was so excited to find him in stores, and I am so excited to sit down and unbox and put him together. So stay tuned for that one. Alongside that is this ghost face inflatable, which I just found the other day. Now, let me just say, you guys are gonna be seeing some of these things put together, and you're probably wondering, when did you buy that? Because I have videos up of Spirit Halloween tours for about a week and a half that you haven't seen yet, where like I'm still saying, oh, I can't find this or I can't find that, yet you're seeing them right here in my video. So you know that I found them. Just stay tuned and keep watching those videos, and you will see the videos where I found these things. Back to the ghost face inflatable. I found him just the other day in a store, and he is awesome. He is a six-foot inflatable. We're also going to be doing a video inflating him so we can see him in person and see just how awesome he is. Now, Right beside him is this guy. Look at this. His name is Handstand Larry. This is one reason I love going to a lot of different Spirit Halloween stores. Because things like this that did not sell in the past will come back out on the shelves and be available. This guy is actually pretty hard to find. One of them just sold on eBay for like 200 bucks. But I found him in a store and I got him for $42. Handstand Larry. How cool is that guy? Right next to him, we have the Ghost Face bobblehead and the Michael Myers bobblehead. There's also two other new ones this year, a Gremlins, which I don't think I'm going to buy. I just, I love the Gremlins, 
but I'm just not really into that bobblehead. And then there is a Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre. I will probably still get him. But for now, I have these two. The Halloween Michael Myers, where he's peeking out from behind the bush. And the Ghost Face bobblehead. Now, we just talked about little skelly bones. Let's move over and do this other smaller stuff first. We have the Pumpkin Nester doll. I had to get him when I saw him. We have the Wolfman and the Dracula Vinyl Pops. Now, I actually found these at a store called Mark's. These were only $3.99, so I could not pass them up. Although now I have to get the whole collection, so I'm probably going to end up having to go on eBay to find those. There's this guy, the Secret Keeping Cat. I had to buy him. This guy just totally cracks me up. I made one joke about him in one of my first Spirit Halloween videos this year, and I just totally cracked myself up with him, so I had to buy him. Right here we have the Trick or Treat Holly Ho chocolate bar. Last year, this was really difficult to find, but this year I'm seeing them in almost every store. Right here, we have a Scream Ghost Face fluorescent pink mask. I also got this at a store called Mark's. There was one of them among a ton of other masks. Now, they also make a green and an orange, and as you guys know, a lot of different colors of Ghost Face masks and I want to get almost all of them. So that is a good beginning right there. Right next to that, we have this anonymous mask, which I actually just found at a Goodwill for like two bucks. I couldn't pass it up because it's so cool. We got the Billy Butcherson Sidestepper here. I couldn't pass him up. You gotta love Billy Butcherson. You gotta love Hocus Pocus. And the new Hocus Pocus movie is coming out, I believe, the end of this month, like September 30th. Right up here, I also got the Frankenstein Sidestepper. He is so cool, and I don't know that there are any other vintage Sidesteppers like him out there at the moment, but I hope they bring more out because I will definitely get them. Down here in the middle, we have these two boxes, and what these are, you guys have seen me open these already. These are the Spirit Animatronic and the Chills and Thrills bag clips. What these are are blind bags, mystery packs, and as you open them up, you find things like the Gizmo or the Beetlejuice, these are bag clips or keychains. We even have the sandworm. This one's hilarious. If you want to see me open any or all of those, this one already has its own video. This one already has its own videos. These are awesome. And then up here, I have a couple more. I just put up this video also. The horror properties, it's the same thing. The mystery bags, blind bags, whatever you want to call them. And I have not done this one yet. The Universal Studios Monsters. I'm really looking forward to making that video. Now, as you can also see, we're going to get to some big ones here because we have three other animatronics that I have not talked about yet. One of them is this Smiling Jack, which I believe is pretty much just like the sitting scarecrow. It looks like he sits there. He's got a shovel. He's got a bowl down here at his feet. And you put the candy in there, and I believe when somebody comes up and reaches for the candy, his head is down and he jumps up and scares the crap out of him. Life-size jump scare action. I will definitely be doing a video of unboxing and putting him together. Beside him, we have Twisted Jack. Now, let me move this. This guy reminds me of, I can't even remember what his name is, but one of the animatronics that was at, I think, Home Depot last year or the year before. And he is also um, motion or foot pad activated. His face lights up, looks like he's flaming, and he says some phrases. I don't think he moves, but we will find out because I'm also going to do an unboxing of that. And over here, we have Lady of the Grave. I believe I have seen videos online of this one, but we are also going to do an unboxing and setup of her. She's five feet tall. I think she just moves back and forth and probably is like the Wraith where she makes like ghostly sounds. So I believe we have covered everything on that table right there. I have one more awesome thing to show you guys. Come with me. Down here in the basement is where my office will be. There's Johnny Punk. <laughs> and there is little Skelly Bones. And this is the other thing right here, guys. Yes, I bought the giant 12-foot, the giant 12-foot skeleton with life eyes. The LCD eyes. Look 
how absolutely enormous this thing is. I have not even attempted to set it up yet. Look at this, guys. This is his hand. What the heck? It's so big I can barely even get it in the frame. <laughs> You're gonna have to stay tuned to see me put this together. I'm not sure when I'm gonna get around to it yet, but I will be putting it together very soon here. Look at how huge this box is. Compare it to my hand. That's his head in that box. And with how big I am, the rib cage is so big, I could get inside it. Like you really cannot even tell how huge it is from this video right here, but this thing is absolutely enormous. Just, just look at the neck compared to my hand. Holy crap. And let me give you a little bonus look right here. This is the room it's gonna be my office. This is my makeshift green screen right here. There's my welcome great pumpkin sign that I used in my um in my intro and this right here is where i made the part of the intro where i see the possessed pumpkin and i lean back and look up and then i turn and i run and drop the sign the rest of that intro was actually made in front of the spirit halloween store in north canton ohio and with that i'm gonna let you go watch that intro as an outro right now